for having me. Uh, we, feel, we feel very privileged, we're excited to have you. Right, so I'm gonna start with some questions and then we're gonna open it up. Let me get straight into it. So, Bill Gates said, there is no one in our time who has done more to push the bounds of science innovation than you. Well, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, well, that's it. That's a nice thing to have anyone say about you. Nice coming from Bill Gates. But oddly enough, when it comes to AI, actually, for around a decade, you've almost been doing the opposite and saying, hang on, yeah. we need to think about what we're doing and what we're pushing here and what do we do to make this safe? And, and actually, yeah. maybe we should be pushing as fast or as hard as we are. Like, I mean, you've been doing it for a decade. Like, what was it that cause you to think about it that way and you know, why do we need to be worried? Yeah, I've been somewhat of a Cassandra for quite a while, um, where, pe where people would, uh, I would tell people like, we should really be concerned about AI and be like, what are you talking about? Like, I've never really had any experience with, with AI. Uh, but since I was immersed in um, technology, I have been immersed in technology for a long time, I could see it coming. Um, so, uh, but I think this year was, there have been a number of, of breakthroughs. I mean, you know, the point at which someone can see a dynamically created video of themselves. Um, you know, like so you can make a video of you saying anything in real time, um, or me. Um, and uh, so there's sort of the, the deep fake videos, which are really incredibly good. In fact, sometimes more convincing than real ones. Um, and <laughs> deep real. Um, <laughs> and, um, and and then and then obviously the things like ChatGPT were were quite remarkable. Now I saw. Uh, GPT-1, GPT-2, GPT-3, GPT-4, you know, the whole sort of lead up to that. So it was easy for me to um, kind of see where it's going. If you just sort of extrapolate the points on a curve and assume that trend will continue, then we will have um, profound artificial intelligence and obviously at a level that far exceeds uh, human intelligence. The way it's being used is a little bit more as a co-pilot necessarily versus replacing the person. There's still human agency, but it's helping you do your job better, yeah. uh, which is a good thing. What would your kind of observation be on on AI and the impact on labor markets and people's jobs and how they should feel about that as they, as they think about this? Well, I think we are seeing the most disruptive force in history here, um, you know, where we have for the first time we will have for the first time something that is smarter than the smartest human. Um, and that, I mean, it's hard to say exactly what that moment is, but, but there will come a point where no job is needed. You can have a job if you want to have a job for sort of personal satisfaction, but the AI will be able to do everything. So I don't know if that makes people comfortable or uncomfortable. It, 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 <laughs> uh, you know that's why that's why I say if you if you, if you wish for a magic genie <laughs> that gives you any wishes you want and there's no limit you don't have those three limits three wish limits of nonsense uh, you just have many <laughs> many wishes as you want um, so uh, it, it, it's both good and bad um, one of the challenges in the future will be how do we find meaning in life. That's, that, that'll give you a sense of what is a, a, a I guess, a fairly utopian or protopian um, future with, with AI. Yeah. Um, which is good from a, as, as you said, it's a universal high income, which is a nice phrase, and that's, it's good from yeah. a kind of materialistic sense, aid yes. of abundance, actually, that it kind of then leads to the question that you pose, right? I, I'm someone who believes, you know, work gives you meaning. I think right. a lot about that. It's, as a leader, I think work is a good thing. It you know, gives people purpose in their lives. And if you then remove a large chunk of that, you know, what does that mean? And where do you get that? Yeah. You know, where do you get that drive, that motivation, that purpose? I mean, you were talking about it. You, you work a lot of hours. I and, do. You know, it, no, I, I, as, as I was mentioning when we were talking earlier, I have to somewhat engage in deliberate suspension of disbelief uh, because I'm, I'm putting so much blood, sweat, and tears into a work project and burning the you know, 3 a.m. oil. Um, then. Um, I'm like, wait, why am I doing this? I can just wait for the AI to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lashing myself for no reason. Um, I must be a glutton for punishment. Um, so, we call, so, Dem so I, call, call Demis and tell him to hurry up, and then you can have a holiday, right? But, yeah. No, it's a look. It's a tricky. It's a tricky thing because I think you know part of our job is to make sure that we can navigate to that very 
think, largely positive place that you're describing. It, it is like and help, positive, help people yeah. through it between now and then, because these things bring a lot of that change in, in the labor market, as we've seen. Yeah, um, I, I think it probably is generally a good thing, because you know, there, there are a lot of jobs that are uh, uncomfortable or dangerous or yeah, which sort of tedious, um, and the computer will have no problem doing that. We're happy to do that all day long. So, um, you know, it, it's fun to cook food, but it's not that fun to wash the dishes. And like, but the computer is perfectly happy to wash the dishes. Um, and I, I guess there is, um, you know, we still have uh, sports like where, where, where humans compete and like the Olympics and obviously um, a machine can, can go faster than any human, but we still have, uh, we still humans race against each other um, and, uh, and have all, you know, have these sports competitions against each other where even though the machines are better, we're still, I guess, competing to see who can be the best human at something. Um, 